Okay, so I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a slice of pizza. I I don't know what else to tell you. I'm, and guess what? I'm stuffed crust. Look at this. <laughs> dude, I cannot believe the pizza the pizza costume has stuffed crust on the sides, dude. Who would have thought? I can't even believe it myself. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm gonna accept it. And this time I'm in pizza because if you guys remember what I said in my last video, then you probably know why I'm a slice of pizza. If you didn't see that video, then shame on you. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable, but let's go ahead and hop in our awesome new flame riding Awesome mobile thingy that you get from doing one of the Halloween uh, candy corn hunts, which is been an absolute blast those are those are so fun i'm sure everybody's completed the candy corn hunts for now but what are we doing in this video today well subscribe and the notification we get the button make it go ding that's what you gotta do it's, it's an essential hit the like button if we get a couple likes on this it's going to be mean the world if we get 10 likes i will jump off the the bank in brookhaven not kidding dude i'll do it don't test me um all right so <laughs> hit the like button basically though destroy it it helps out a lot for real anyway so anyways we're going to be going over here because in this one i thought you know it's halloween it's spooky and brookhaven can be spooky even when it's not Halloween and what do I mean by that and how does that really entail well allow me to kind of go over and explain you can be pizza you can become a slice of pizza if that's not the most terrifying thing is I don't know but no um Brookhaven has a lot of dark and scary secrets um scatter Ooh. sir why are you men in black why is the men in black here dude what's he who is this guy he came pulled up right beside me he's JJ love one two three one two three four oh. Dude, why is everybody coming over here all of a sudden? What did I do? <laughs> we got an RP. Dude, everyone's coming over here. I didn't invite any of you. Get the heck out of here. You cannot have a slice of this pizza, okay? I'm gonna go sit. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, I don't know who these people are, and I don't know why I gotta sit like this, man. But I'm just gonna sit here while they do their thing over this nice cozy fire and let my cheese melt right off my body. Um, but yeah, hi. Welcome to my campsite. Oh, uh, um, Hi. Thank you. I will take it. I will take it. <laughs> dude, I have no clue what I'm taking, dude. I'm going to take it. But yeah, the summer camp slide is gone. But what I wanted to do was go over some spooky, scary secrets in Brookhaven. Since it's Halloween and it's the month of spooks, I thought what better time to just kind of go over all the scary secrets that lie and that is in this crazy, well, Halloween update, but not even just that, but Brookhaven in general. I wanted to go over from top to bottom some of the scariest things that you may not have known um, that definitely tie into the crazy lore and everything regarding Brookhaven. And every Halloween, it gets even spookier around here. So, of course, we have the Camp of Scares. Uh, I honestly think Wolfpack missed a good chance on making a very scary camp update. He could have made like that, uh, like a camp, uh, scary camp. A horror story you know that would have been really cool there's a lot of horror movies that's based around camps and stuff right so I thought it would have been cool to add some little traces and it, 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 just a few touches here to make this even spookier but there is some spooks to the camp and we're gonna get to that in a little bit I don't even think this guy knows is, is can we catch a spider on one of the walls that would be great if so to come on now where are you spider where's the spider so if you don't know there's actually a spider that spawns in the corners of this camp house here now it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie he just kind of spawns and sits there and if you don't like spiders you're probably not gonna like him too much i imagine you're sitting there enjoying the camp and then all of a sudden up at the corner is a giant spider as big as your hand yeah i said it, as big as your hand that is not a spider that i think a lot of people want to see but that's what this spider is and i call him eek the spider Eek the spider, you know, because you go eek when you see him. I think it's a great thing, dude. It's a great name. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. He is so spooky, right? He is so spooky. He just sits there. It looks kind of nice, though. I mean, I think he's a nice looking spider. So, yeah. Anyways, that's one of the spooky things in the camp that is totally random, by the way. He just kind of spawns and despawns at his own will, and it's completely random. So, it's kind of hard to say if you're going to be able to find him or catch him whenever he does spawn. So, you will really just have to kind of uh, come in here and look around if you're looking for the spider. But that's not all. I mean, there's still some creepy stuff in this camp as well. If we jump up here and then we jump on up here, we can see a creepy haunted doll. Now, at first glance, from far off, it looks like a normal doll. Nothing that's going to be too creepy or give you any type of spooky, eerie vibes. But that is totally incorrect and wrong. This doll is incredibly spooky and its eyes are all black with a devious smile looking at you with some blocks just completely uh, around it i don't really know the story behind this doll i do know it can appear appear in your homes so do be careful this doll may appear and haunt you in your house uh there's something really weird about the spirit of this doll and i don't like to get near this doll to be honest but um, let's see if we can actually press this secret too if we do this it can change the actual blocks 
color around for the doll. Now, I don't know if there's a certain sequence or something that the doll will activate and become alive, but that would be really creepy, and I wouldn't want to touch it. So, there you have it. That one's creepy. So, I think I'm going to get the heck out of here because I don't want really to even deal with that, man. That's super creepy stuff. So, let's kind of then hop back in our thing here. I think the campground is a spooky place to tell scary stories and everything relating to sort. It's just a creepy, nice place. But that's definitely not even touching the surface of some of the scary stuff that is in all of Brookhaven. So, now prepare yourself because it gets a lot more darker and weird as we go on over here. And it tells a lot about the storyline and some of the lore and experimentations and things that the agency was possibly conducting. And uh, it starts getting really weird and unexplainable in ways that are just, just that unexplainable. So, anyways, if we drive on over here, we're going to be making our way to the graveyard. Now, to one of the classics and most... Uh, known secrets for the longest amount of time this one is definitely going to turn heads and it's going to make you lose sleep at night because it just doesn't make sense so let's go here and let's jump here now the graves will say different things right game creator with a thumbs down you know some humorous have a good night and then if we jump in this is it this one? No, oh, it's this one 733 there is a very weird rustic coffin and if we press this I don't even know if you can hear that the audio might be kind of low but there is a growl and it will growl two more times after just pressing it once that means you don't even have to knock on it again this thing will just growl three times it's like you're awakening a beast that's going to resurrect itself there it is it's going to resurrect itself and then haunt you throughout the rest of your day so i don't uh, anime keys keys key, what who who is this man i I don't know who this is, blah. <laughs> but anyways, so that has always been a mystery for the longest amount of time. Why there is a zombie, something growling in a grave, and it growls three times whenever you knock on it. Like you're awakening a beast that's just undeniably dying to get out. And a lot of people have a lot of different theories and rumors about that. And what it actually is, and what it entails, and what it could be. Well, uh, in my personal opinion, I think it's the Rotten. And what is the Rotten? Well, let's kind of take a little history lesson on over to the Town Hall, and that's going to give you a better idea on what the Rotten could possibly be and what they are and everything in between, right? So if we go on over here to the wanted list, we see Chief Rotten, which is a green guy that used to be in the police force that have, so he's got, he, he used to be police chief, it actually looks like, and now he has turned rotten. How does an individual turn rotten in here well i will tell you it's through the agency's experimentations gone wrong infections um well, let's go take a look up here at the creepy hospital area that we know so if we go up here we can see right here is a green ooze in a vial or a syringe shall i say and this green ooze once injected into an individual could it turn them into the rotten and uh that's also very dangerous right so this is the failed experiment of the rotten one that did not make it deceased now into a empty body that sits in this tube preserved um very odd what this really entails now i do want to take note i do want to say or in regards to some of these scary secrets that we've been in the last halloween update you know I, we got this amazing halloween update right now but in the last one this guy actually broke out believe it or not he broke out and he was moving around all throughout the top of the hospital here now do not forget upon activating multiple secrets you can open this and you can press different buttons in this and once you press one of the buttons and activate this tube lightning surges throughout the tube and, and emits a strange odd like effect that doesn't give much explanation and it is quite odd but that is something that uh, does occur and i think it's very very odd and I don't know what the lightning effect or what it does to really coincide with the existence of the rotten and this stuff. But, I mean, obviously, the green ooze is dripping everywhere. And then upon activating more secrets, if you go over to the experimental chair, you will notice that ooze drops on top of you as if it's repeating a piece of history and some of its strangeness that is. So, um, the surgery table connected down right below in the quantum room where you can teleport in the wall. If you jump through, there's a scalpel there as if it has something to do with the surgery table many have complained uh, um you know uh, said that there is a connection between there i don't know i mean the theories are really endless and when it starts getting into this stuff you don't really know the true story behind what is going on right so anyways i think that's kind of like the explanation behind the rotten to a degree 
Um, they're a very, uh, and if you watch the movie First Contact, you just go to theaters, it's the first movie, uh, movie that plays, you will notice that there's a green infection going on, they're turning into rotten, and uh, it's the it's the side effect, the negative um, approach that the agency has done. It's uh, very sad, disheartening, but they have done it, and I guess that's just how it is, right? So, uh, either way, that is going to be that. So, what's the other scary little secrets and scary little touches in Brookhaven? Well, let's get to a home, for example. Any home will do. Oh, someone's got that nice giant estate. I'm going to just do this small cottage home because this home is so polite and looks wonderful. Like nothing could ever go wrong or be bad about this house. Wrong. Any house I believe is haunted. I mean, I've lived in haunted houses before and they are not fun because it's, I guess it's the spirits or something that wants to haunt the house really want to be released and they will do anything to get your attention at times, uh, even if it annoys you. Um, so if we kind of look through this house, we can see right here, if we go to the disaster pack, we can then put a ghost. Now the ghost is going to create spooky sound effects like no other. Why is someone shooting a gun? What the heck, man? So um, one thing to note, this is a great prank to play on your friends if you invite them over to your house you can if you have the disaster pack you can spawn the ghost and they will not understand why they are hearing all these creepy noises and why there appears to be i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys the ghost is <laughs> oh my god dude that is no mm -mm. I'm, I'm, you can have the house i'm selling the house you can have it you can have the house. I'm done. I'm moved out. I don't want nothing to do with it ever again. I am done. Oh, way to spook myself. Anyway, so that's uh, that's a way to spook anybody and everybody. That's for sure. And that's one of the spookiest things that I would say is in Brookhaven. So anyways, there's some scary secrets for you to go and prank your friends or just kind of go and explore and understand the lore a little bit more. Hopefully you enjoyed. From top to bottom, we cover everything regarding Brookhaven and we absolutely love it. That's just what we do here. Every single day we show up no matter what. <laughs> Ugh, it gets crazy sometimes. Anyways, love you guys. I want to open up me an account real quick. I think I'm going to get the blue card. Feeling all good. <laughs> go get some money here soon. But anyways, I got my new bank card. I'm ready to go. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for the love and support constantly. Um, it's it's a crazy time. And uh, I, I, I can't wait to see what's in the future, right? All right. I will see you all in the next one. This is where I'm supposed to end it.